Today we're in a really wild area of the Mojave Desert. You'll never see another human in this area. I do know that well over a hundred years ago, there was a little bit of mining activity in some of these hills, but it's crazy rugged. We just spent a few hours uh, hiking over these wild sand dunes you see behind us. We've got some rugged mountains in front of us and we're gonna explore. We're hunting for photo op locations, possible movie locations. If we can find something super creepy for a horror film, we have no idea what we're gonna run into today. And maybe mines. And maybe mines, as in what, like gold and silver mines? Or copper, I don't know. Who knows, so let's do this. All right, side note, you're going to laugh. So today I thought, oh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be in the 70s, which it is. And it's supposed to be fully sunny, which it, it's sunny, but there's a little breeze. So I was going to wear the bikini top, the whole thing. I have it with me, actually. Maybe I'll change. But then I'm like, oh, I'll just keep my shirt on. And I forgot to button it all the way up. It was like this the whole time. Hmm. Okay. Let's explore. Hey, Peanut. So I uh, found something very interesting around the corner in this little canyon we've been walking up. You're going to want to come check this out. Okay, on my way. We're in this wash and I came around the corner and hidden back in there is this beauty. So we have this old prospectors dwelling. They just basically stack these rocks up and I haven't gone in here yet. So we'll see if there's anything wonderful, any treasures hiding in here, but they definitely went to a lot of trouble. And I think there's some prospects up in the hills back there. Man, this is nestled up in this crazy canyon. It's, you'd never know it's even here. Nope. There probably hasn't been another person here in a hundred years. Well, that might be fantasy, but it could also be true. Okay, here we go. So here's how we know how old this is. Look at the thickness of this glass and the color. That's an old piece of glass right there. That's probably 1895-ish. And Look on the, cans. the cans, see the solders? See where these things were? where they were soldered together right there. That's how you know. Look at how they peeled the can open. These are really old. So these, these old crazy prospectors were out here a long time ago. Oh, here we go, look at this. Square nail. Square now, old site. And then Tabitha has just told me she found a lithic flake. I might be wrong. I think I was off. The magic candy happened. And I'm off. No, I don't think it is. You, you sure? Yeah, because it's not that right material. See? So, I saw the cuts in it. See what I'm saying? Okay, I could easily yeah. miss judge it right yeah absolutely i think, I think, I think it's probably natural but I see where there's right. that break that even break across the back yeah well and the scoops you know but you, then you could confuse that for an ancient yeah. artifact for an ancient i need to find lithic more. flake but i don't think so I don't think it is I at any rate this however look at this guy this is Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. that is a beautiful square nail right there so they're all over the place
so I just found this thing and I have no idea what it is so we're gonna ask Tabitha what she thinks this thing is the shape is very interesting so well it's not a dinosaur bone or a bone er <laughs> I, I think actually it's from this thing right here maybe Well, this is really heavy. This is probably somewhere between five and 10 pounds. So I have no idea it's iron. I have no idea what it went to, but this site- I think it went to this. Oh. Is pretty phenomenal. So we found these old mining works up here and we were looking around, found some interesting pieces, some old relics, some old iron, big giant gear wheel. And then I looked down on the ground and I found something ultra cool and I haven't picked it up. I'm going to go pick it up right now. So let's go take a look at this and see what this is. So this is an Indian head penny and the date on it is 1902, which is interesting because as we were looking around these old works, I told Tabitha, I bet it's early 1900s that this particular prospecting site was happening, this particular mine. And sure enough, boom, 1902 penny on the ground. This site's not getting hit. I don't think anybody even knows this site's here anymore. It's really, really, really removed really distant, really far, and uh, we're gonna do some more exploring. Oh, there's a road. Do you see that road up above up there? They stacked rocks. It's an old primitive, either a trail or a road up there. That's cool. We'll take a look at that as well. This site's fantastic. What a, what a beautiful place. So up here we found an old trail where these guys had built a pathway to haul their ore over to a spot where they could pull it off. So we're gonna go check this wicked looking trail alongside this ledge and see what it looks like. On this old trail, this old ledge that these prospectors built. It runs up along the edge here. Wow, I tell you, they put a lot of work into this. A lot of work. They were ultra serious. I have no idea what this is all about. Okay, so we had been scrambling up through this wash into this canyon and we found an old prospector site, an old mining site actually with a mill and a bunch of other stuff that used to be here. Around the corner over here we have a hole, big hole, so there's a mine there. And uh, from the looks of it, this is a pretty old site, so I'd say at least a hundred years old. So we're gonna go uh, explore and see what we come up with. So this is a big hole and I can't see how far back it goes. But these miners in this area were serious for sure. Big works down below. We're going to go back and look around that site some more in a little bit. Tabitha is down below in the wash hunting around, see if she can find some artifacts. This area, man, people don't come up here. I've seen it maps but it's just not there's been no footprints no signs whatsoever of 
any recent visitation whatsoever. So this is pretty cool. And I don't see any big cat tracks or anything like that in here, so I don't think I got a mountain lion hiding out in the shadows. So I think I'll be just fine. But you always look for tracks, see if it's being used a lot by the critters or sometimes things that are bigger than critters. And so uh, I'm gonna go in a little tiny bit, not a lot. I don't wanna stir the ground up too much because there's this thing called antivirus, which is a real bad thing to catch and you get it from droppings from rodents and fleas from rodents and things like that. It's like the bubonic plague. And uh, I don't think I want the bubonic plague. So I'm gonna head in here a touch and not stir things up and see what we come up with. So this could be really fun. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. I see your dots. I looked into your light. Damn it! I looked into your light. Ah! <laughs> okay. Have you ever walked inside of a, an old mine before? No, I've never walked in deep inside an old mine. I mean, I don't. This is the furthest I think I've gone. So you so ten feet in is about the furthest you've been in an old abandoned mine. Probably. Well, why would I go in an old abandoned mine? Oh, that's right. I'm married to you. I forgot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sort of spin around. Okay. Let's get my light going here. Ooh, oh, bad. is it curved? Is that water? It's wet. See? Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so my beam is real narrow. So uh, Tabitha decided that she's not going to go any further. And I don't blame her one bit because if you're claustrophobic and you don't like places like this, this can be very, very harrowing. And she's looking down at a deep, dark, black hole back there. So what does it feel like? Well, if you have anxiety, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not fun. I'm okay. No, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, it's weird. I mean, if it were a little bit bigger, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but it's just, it's a little tight, I think. And then you're having to duck down and I'm short. I'm only like five foot three inches tall. So I'm little. So if I'm having to scoot down a little bit, going into a black hole, eh, it's a little strange <laughs> and crunchy. What's that? <gasps> I'm kidding. Nothing happened. Ow, my pole went. You through. totally. So, <laughs> she just... Did I scare you? Yeah, actually you did. Yes! So, I so, so let me turn this down so it's not whacking the camera. So what happened was, is when she suddenly ducked and panicked, I thought it was a big bat or something flying over my head. And our old building in Utah, we had tons of bats and we dealt with bats and they kind of freaked me out still. I'm not a big fan. So when she ducked, I was like, ah! Oh! I, I definitely jerked, I'm not gonna lie. That Sorry, was, but that was funny. Okay, let's go. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, it's in camp. Oh, that one's full of something. Wait, what is it? Oh, no, jerk. Oh. 
All right, Tabitha's safely out. She bumped her head really hard when she was leaving, but she's okay. And I'm gonna go down here a little ways. And let's take a look and see. I'm going to switch over to the other light mode. Oh yeah, it's going to be way too dark. So, sorry, we're just going to have that little pin of light. Actually, it's not too bad. So, there's some big beams here. Super big beams. And some holes up in here so there we go yeah there's been a lot of critters in here and this goes way back so all right i'm gonna head back and see how tabitha's head is doing after she crunched it so on this wall Super curious to know what's back there, but and there's the entrance. So, all right, I'm gonna head back. It's a lot of rodent droppings in here, and I don't really feel like I wanna stir this up too much. That was a can I just stepped over or on. As we approach the entrance here, there's a lot of rodent crap all over the ground, so I'd rather not contract anything. I don't have a mask with me, so. All righty, onward. Oh. So we're hiking along in these sand dunes and man, you find the damnedest things. Just random, here's that little coffee can, I don't know what that is. There's something over here too. This is such a random thing. Look at where we are. I'll pan around, you can see how remote this is crazy remote nothing here man nothing 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 and then boom there's that there's more what the hell somebody was somebody was camped out here or something some old grizzly prospectors. There we go. Yep. So we're walking in the sand and our feet are killing us. We've been walking for miles and miles and a little ways back, we saw this great looking sand dune, sun starting to drop and Tabitha is kind of always on the lookout for, you know, content for our various websites and fan sites and things like that. And um, we're just beat and the instinct was, ah, too tired. We'll get it some other day, whatever. And I thought, you know, it's too easy to say that. 
it's not every day that we're out in some crazy wild sand dunes where those opportunities come along where you look at your backdrop and say, man, that is absolutely magnificent. So I said, hey, listen, we're both a little beat, but this is grab the shots. We'll be happy we did later, you know, when we're kicking back and drinking a cup of coffee and a nice comfortable setting and it's kind of the way it usually works out like a lot of people say gosh you and Tabitha find some extraordinary places and discover some pretty wild things while you're filming or whether you're looking for photo ops or just out hiking around and what you don't see behind the scenes is that it's uh real physical sometimes hot sometimes cold usually crazy hot or crazy cold sometimes you walk right into a festival of ants who want to eat you so let's take a look at this i don't have anything to give them um, there's one thing though gary what's that you're a little bit off oh i am okay because i'm about to be corrected yes because before Gary had said, well, this is the last opportunity, I had taken off this little ensemble I have with. <laughs> and you did uh, what? What? Oh, I said, sorry. I said, I took off this little ensemble and I started to lay down near a sand dune and the light was bad. Yes. So I did start it. You did? No, no, tap it. No, dear, I don't did. get me wrong. You definitely did. It was your yeah. idea. Yeah, but then I just didn't want but to that the location, second time. I was like, oh. But God. the first location totally sucked. Right. The light wasn't really that great. And so, at any rate, so, yeah, exactly, as Tabitha said. And so, I saw an opportunity and said, ah, oh, man, this is a great spot. Light's great. Let's just do it. And, you know, I'm pretty good at not letting myself get too wimpy. And Tabitha's great at that too. Like she's tough. Like she'll say, yep, oh, I don't care. I'm fine. Let's do this. And she's great. But we have our days. Yep. We have our days where we're like, man, I'm so tired. I just don't want to do this. I'm beat. My feet hurt, whatever. And then you know what happens every single time afterwards is you're, you regret it. You're like, ah, oh, man, I wish I would have got those shots or I would have taken the time to pull the gear out of the backpacks or whatever it may be. And so... I don't know, there's kind of like a life lesson in this, right? And the lesson is just be tenacious, persevere. You know, you can rest later. That'll come. It's not like your suffering's infinite. Not like it's gonna last forever. So just get out there and do it. And you can relax and get that massage later, sit in that ice tub later, whatever the hell it is. So that's kind of an interesting situation, but yeah, we shot it. It looks really super cool. I cannot show you what we shot on YouTube because, well, let's just say Tabitha is ah natural in the shots. <laughs> so, and they're magnificent. They're beautiful, really artsy, really great, but I can't put them on YouTube. So at any rate, if you want to see those, just click on the VOD links in the description go to our vod sites we had a bunch of them and you can see some of that it's pretty cool super tasteful nothing crazy nothing wild just fun all in good taste so there you go how are we doing back there we're doing it all right we're gonna keep marching and we'll uh, chat with you shortly <laughs> <laughs> 